What's poppin' people? It's Dante. I'm currently walking around Miami. Beautiful, beautiful Miami. It's like a paradise here during the winter. It's super hot, super nice. And yeah, I just wanted to start the day off with some health advice, right? This is my health advice. Um, you know, I think that uh, over this past one year, I've learned a lot about health and fitness. And I just wanted to share some of the things that I've learned along the way. I've always been into the sort of health and fitness uh, stuff. Started going to the gym when I was around 18, 19 years old. For the record, I'm currently 27. <clears throat> and yeah, it's actually taken me a long time to figure this thing out so yeah I just want to break some things down and give some advice because I believe it's the duty of man to be strong right so firstly I believe in this notion of subtracting the superfluous so what does this mean it means removing any toxins from your life right no weed no alcohol no porn right no fap um, all of the kind of distractions and things that are addictive are bad for you. And to remove these things will actually help a lot. <laughs> um, you know, I think the problem with modernity is we are becoming anemic, weak, and docile as men just based around the way in which we live our lives, typically indoors, working at computers and things. So actually being outside natural sunlight for the maximum amount of time per day is really a good way to be and i believe wearing the minimum amount of clothing possible right i have the lululemon license to train shorts they're five inches and the vibram five finger barefoot shoes these are the elx model and yeah just walk uh, without a shirt i think that Embracing the sun, embracing the UV radiation and the vitamin D is a good way to uh, be, just generally, right? So when you're considering health, I think firstly, get outside, spend more time in the sun, and remove all of the toxic stuff from your life, right? There's no such thing as moderation in my life. Um, and so yeah, maybe extreme is better. So. I, I, I don't believe that this is extreme, but how about this? No breakfast, no lunch, only eat one massive carnivore diet meal per day of red meat, so that means beef and lamb, no pork, no chicken, none of the other kind of nonsense, that isn't meat, right? We don't want to be chickens, buck, 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 chicken shit. No, I don't want to be a chicken, I want to be a bison. I want the power of a thousand oxen. And so actually by fasting, you will have more energy, weirdly enough. You know, I find if I have a meal throughout the day, I feel like it's time for a nap. I kind of shut down. My body doesn't um, feel as great. And so the solution I found is to remove more, right? So again, with subtracting the superfluous, you want to remove, um, you know, any carbs, sugars, juices, even vegetables. The only vegetable I personally enjoy are leafy greens or kimchi. It seems like these are good. I think that kimchi, it's some something to add for flavor, but you know, and also it's good for your gut. So yeah, the probiotics are good from the kimchi, but everything else I don't really uh, think are necessary as the steak will provide everything you need all of the vitamins minerals nutrients you need are within the beef that we consume right so red meat wait till the end of the day yeah this is uh really critical it's 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 so important that we eat food that is actually going to uh fuel you and satiate you and give you energy where yeah everything else is a uh, mere distraction and actually removing more is the solution so you know the nutrition i believe is what i've learned now it's it's way more important than the stuff you do in the gym actually um, this idea of hypertrophy of you know increasing your nutrition and so when it comes to the sort of fitness side of things where i'm you know lifting or even just, you know, walking, 
you know, I think is the only thing you need to focus on. Um, you know, when, when it comes to lifts in the gym, my favorite lift is the farmer's walk, which is essentially picking up two dumbbells and walking with them, right? So just focusing on the posture with your head up, shoulders back, sort of chest open, holding two heavy dumbbells at your sides, seeing how far you can walk them out, put them down. Yeah, it's pretty good because actually the sort of basic ways in which people lift and things in the gym, like the bench press, shoulder press, all these kind of things, yeah, it's actually not necessary whatsoever. If anything, the best lift, in my opinion, is the deadlift as it sort of tests your strength. But to be honest with you, focusing on simple exercises like the farmer's walk, which promotes good posture and strong grip strength, will be uh, your best friend, I believe. And that's what I like to do the most, is to just pick up two dumbbells and walk them out. And yeah, perhaps grip strength is strength. And yeah, having pro proper posture is critical. So when I go for my walks throughout the day, yeah, I walk barefoot and walk for very long distances where longevity is the goal, right? Running or doing any sort of exercise with a bicycle, you know, whether it's a stationary bike or just running on a trail or running on a treadmill, these things aren't good for us. I think that running is actually just a negative, it just, it's actually just bad for your health, funnily enough, actually. Uh, so yeah, I prefer walking. And then when it comes to biking, it's merely for fun and leisure. So if you're biking, make sure it's a step through bike so it promotes good posture. When you lean down and you're hunched over on the bike, it's just, it's, that's bad for you too. So the idea is to not sit down and to be in a constant state of movement. So for me, I like to walk long distances and I try to strive to get to 30,000 steps a day. You know, I've never met anyone depressed that walks that much. So yeah, just consider that your physical health essentially is your mental health. And the more that you're moving physically through the world, yeah, the sharper your mind becomes. And also with fasting, the sharper your mind is and the more laser focused you become. So yeah, pretty much everything is in your control. You know, some sort of irrational feelings that are out of your control can be controlled through exerting your body physically, whether it's walking or weightlifting. Um, simple things I like to do as well as the farmer's walk are push-ups and pull-ups. Pistol squats, which are essentially just one-legged legged squats and dips. So just anything basic, um, basically all of the essential sort of body weight exercises I prefer. This way I can actually work every single day. And yeah, the problem with other techniques is you know, with the deadlift, you can't do a deadlift every single day. So consider a routine that actually promotes daily exercise. So that's why I'm a big proponent for the farmer's walk, push up, pull up, pistol squat, sort of body weight way of um, operating when it comes to the gym. Um, And then I would say one of the most critical things that I believe is overlooked is sleep. Like sleeping is so important. I strive to get at least 10 hours of sleep. I say eight hours is probably the minimum. And I like to go to bed really early, right? I try to go to bed as early as possible. You know, I basically set my circadian rhythm with the sun. So as soon as the sun's out in the morning, I put myself outside, look up at the sun, allow it to enter my eyes through my body through my soul and set my rhythm so that i have no need for alarm clocks and no need for any sort of phones and timers and things i can actually go to bed and wake up without any assistance right i set my circadian rhythm using the sun and yeah i basically just follow the sun i don't really care for the time of the day i'm not looking at my phone or the clock and yeah merely uh setting the rhythm with the sun. Look, one kilometer. Yay, benchmarks. Is it good to set your benchmark? Is it good to sort of look at the numbers? Maybe, 
I, I don't think that you need to think about calories at all. You know, calories to me is actually the biggest scam. And so the goal is to not count calories. I mean, maybe if anything, count your steps in the day. How far did you walk? Maybe that's the only thing I'm ever interested in knowing. Um, but do not count your calories, right? This kind of stuff is a, is a, is a silly approach. Um, really what it comes down to is losing fat and gaining muscle. And how to lose fat? Eat more fat, right? Eat more fatty red meat and get some deep sleep. And ultimately you will see some sort of result. You know, my uh, energy, my physique, my strength has increased by a thousand times this past year of implementing the carnivore diet and some simple things. Um, I think the biggest issue with me in the past was I would do a lot of lifting. I would spend an hour in the gym. I would spend all day working out sometimes and I wouldn't feel the same. I wouldn't have the same um, results because the foods in which I were, was eating was not sufficient, right? So the nutrition part of things is critical and actually fasting, it will, it will uh, be the key components to this uh, sort of health and fitness lifestyle. As I believe as a photographer, any artist really should be fit physically. And one thing I like to consider is, you know, the uh, aesthetics. So ultimate physique, you know, maybe it's um, lean, mean, machine, right? So um, kind of imagine like Brad Pitt, Fight Club, Brad Pitt and Troy. Think of Achilles. You know, we want to look like these ancient uh, Greek mythological demigods. And so, yeah, treat yourself like the sculptor and the sculpture. And ultimately, as an artist, you are art, right? So just treat your body that way. And in the beginning of the day, when I wake up, I like to drink two liters of water, right? I slug back waters and have a lot of black coffee. So I don't add any milk, no sugar, just 100% black coffee. And yeah, that allows me to get the day started on a good note. Coffee is the only drug worth consuming, I'd say. And when it comes down to it, health is wealth. You know, this is um, the ultimate uh, thing to care about actually in life is your health and your art that you create. Yeah, so um, recognize that and just apply you know a few different things each day and try hard try to uh, sort of push your rock uphill each day and go at your own pace right it's not a race you know this thing is a lifelong pursuit and i don't think there's anything really else to add fasting, carnivore diet, remove all the superfluous nonsense from your life, walk more, and you will inevitably reach your fitness goals.